Hello, Nadine here, and today I'm going to be making a rain shaker card using these some products from Maker's Movement. I'm going to be using this stamp and die set. It's called You Are a Unicorn. Without the light reflecting off of it, so there's the stamps. And then the dies that go with it. And I will also be using the Versa dies, the Perfect Foam Cutters. This is the rectangle, obviously. And I'm going to be using, so this cuts their foam, which is the double-sided adhesive craft foam. So I have already used this to cut a piece out. You can see how thick it is. And they all get cut at once. How I cut it out. Up there, like so. Oops. So to show you that, I have already cut it. And then I'm going to use these nippers that work awesome to cut the dies apart. And I'm also going to stamp out this cute little unicorn and color it. So I am going to use the cloud border here. And I have some glitter paper here. This is what I'm going to cut the them out on. I do have also a piece that I cut, oops, don't need those, that I cut the back ground for. This is going to be the back piece. It is five and a half by four and a quarter, so it fits the front of my card. So the card base, it will be the same size as the card base. And then I also did cut out a frame as well with the the same glitter paper. Okay, now that I have all my cloud pieces cut out, and I also cut out the rainbow and all the different colors of the rainbow, and I colored in my little image and also die cut that out, I am now going to get started on building the rain shaker part. So I'm going to start with the back piece first and then taking the biggest rectangle of the foam that I cut out earlier I'm going to cut each end off actually cut it off like that and then adhere it down to the top Oops. And then repeat the process again down here and at the bottom. Now that I have the adhesive on the ends or the foam tape on the ends, I'm going to take my T roller here and go pretty close up to, to the adhesive foam. And then I am just going to do little marks at every five centimeters. So it looks like that. I'm going to repeat that on the other end. And now taking some clear thread. Where'd the end go? <laughs> there it is. And then also I have some clear beads here that I'm going to use. I'm taking the foam adhesive paper. I'm just going to unhook it from the top a little bit, fold it down, or fold it over, cut a piece of the thread off, and right over where that little tick line is that I did, I'm just going to press that right down onto the adhesive. And I'm going to start threading on some beads okay so I did about 10 beads on there and then I'm going to pull it tight and then go right over just like that so I'm going to continue doing this until I have all the lines going all the way across. 
But before I do that, I also took them back off because I need to add the side strips on here too, as close to the edge as possible. Because I don't want to do the rain shaker part all the way over to the edge. So this will help me so I know how far to stay away from the edge. Okay, so now I can lay these back down. Okay, now that I got all the beads added on with the strings, that took a while, but it'll be worth it all in the end. I cut out another or rectangle of the foam. So I'm going to add another strip onto the top and the bottom. And I'm also going to do the same onto the sides. Okay, I'm going to take my anti-static tool and I'm just going to rub it along the edges to help with the, the sticking. And then I'm going to stick down my frame. Next, I just need to cut off all of those, the extra string hanging off. Okay, now that the frame is on there and everything I'm good, I'm going to start taking the clouds. I'm going to add some adhesive onto the biggest piece here. And then just add the pieces. Oops, turn it around, it'll be easier for me to add this way. That, and adding the next piece. There's the clouds on the top. And now the bottom clouds. I am actually going to adhere these on together first. And then taking my rainbow here. And then taking just a little piece of painter's tape to make it easier to attach these together, I'm going to lay them down onto the painter's tape like so. And then I'm just going to add some double-sided tape without pulling off the back to hold it all together. There we go, so now the rainbow is attached, so now I can attach the bottom cloud. Now I'm just going to adhere this onto my card base. And just add a little bit of adhesive down here to the bottom of my little unicorn. Okay, so to finish my card off, I took the Follow Your Dreams stamp, sentiment stamp, and then also the little diamond stars here, and then I stamped those out and attached it right here onto the top, and then the card is completed. So you can see what it's like as the beads rain into the background. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so and hit that bell down there so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. And if you like my video, I would love a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye-bye.